Hey, what is up gamers and Forza 5150 here and yes, we have a new game that we need to check out. It is a survival type building game, crafting and all that. Um, I don't know about how much crafting there is in it, but I know you can build your own things. It kind of seems like a alien takeover type uh, game. Let's just call it a zombie shooter. <laughs> but um, we have not had power for three days. So this game actually came out yesterday. Today is the 10th. It should come out. This video should go out uh, tomorrow sometime. I hope uh, 10 or 6, depending on if you know our power stays on but yeah we got hit pretty hard by hurricane uh, barrel and this came out and i was like oh man i'm missing a game <laughs> yeah that, that was on my mind yes it was even though we had no power and no air conditioning in the middle of texas in the summer but anyway we already have set up everything i haven't played at all but we're running in 4k on the rtx 4080 with the i7 14700k i turned everything up uh, turning off the restrictions, it's like default uh, max uh, frames at 60 FPS. So I turned that off, made sure everything else was set. The, uh, what was that, motion blur, I also turned off. I always turn that off in every game. Uh, as a creator, that is definitely something you want to turn off because trying to get a screenshot from something with motion blur on it is ridiculous. Anyway, um, sound, it does show that they have live streaming mode. All copyrighted music in the game will be blocked after activation, so I have that changed. Hopefully that stays true because I've had games where it said that and it just wasn't true. But anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and I think we can just enter game. I don't think we have to enter someone's server. Um, we might have to. So we have a few. Uh, yeah, looks like we do have to go into someone else's server. Let's see, we have a bunch of PvP ones and PvE. We want to do PvP or PvE uh, for starting out, you know, learning the game and all that stuff. You know, PvP is not my favorite in uh, crafting type games. Um, well, all these are just mild population. It doesn't look like they have a lot. What do we else we have here? Okay, we have a little bit more. We can go low pop, but it's PvP for low. Novice, uh, evaluation is called now. So I wonder if we can actually run our own servers uh, eventually. So yeah, we'll just stick on a Dobby server for now. And let's see, PBE, uh, all of them are PDT, so it doesn't really matter. Just go ahead and hit this one, uh, zero one is the earliest one. All right, server is overloaded, recommended servers. Okay, well we got 15, eight and 12. Let's go ahead and go to eight, which is the, looks like the oldest one, so we'll Switch to that one. Switch. Confirm. North America will put us on 20. What the heck? I tried to go in the one that it says it recommend to go into. Damn it. Um, 21. Confirm. Recommended server. Switch. And switch. Can I hit enter to go in? F, confirm. Oh, I have to hit, I actually have to hit F. All right, enter game. All right, looks like our queue is over. Finally. I found a server that had a little less time. Uh, some of them was like 20 minutes, but ooh, we got a cinematic. But eventually, all roads reach their end. Well, not too bad. This is a free game, so I should probably move this out of the way. The world is broken, stagnant, fallen into the abyss. But everything is born from darkness. Even the universe itself. Huh. Now, do you see it? Weird. <laughs> the spark of life still burns, and evolution forges a new way forward. I don't understand what's going on, but it looks cool. <laughs> 
once your faith overcomes despair, once you move beyond death, once life returns to this world. I, I have no idea what that all means, but cool. <laughs> all right. Loading model. All right. Let's see what we got. Okay. So we have, hmm, looks like a decent character creation. They yeah, am. They are all super buff. See, what's type two? I might go with a female character in this one. I don't know, let's see here. Yeah, I might go with female character. It doesn't look like they have like any like actual, well, they do, they have customization there. So, okay, let's uh, let's try one of the female characters. Uh, we'll start with, <laughs> That's neat. Creepy, but neat. All right, we see face. Oh, we can name our character. Um, complete character creation, okay. Oh, wait a minute, no, 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 I don't want to complete, go back. I see, okay, so we need to first click on face. Do I have no eyes? Oh, okay, there it's there. <laughs> Oh, whoa, that is loud. Wow, that is really loud. I'm gonna turn that down on my headset. Hopefully we can uh, turn that down a little bit in the uh, post. We won't take too long on this. I usually try to keep these pretty uh, quick and straightforward. Just kind of look at what we can actually do. That ain't bad. That's actually quite a bit, ooh. Quite a bit of character customization for a free game, man. I was not expecting this much customization at all. Definitely not. All right. Oh, yeah, you can do a lot. Wow, I am... Oh, man, Shalano would take ages in this. And she does like crafting games. So she will probably play this, but it will take, uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not even joking. She could spend like a whole eight hours just doing character customizations. <laughs> well, yeah, this is really, really good. So I think I finished up my character, but I noticed one thing. They have so much, but they don't have anything for changing the eye color. Like, you can change everything about the eyes, but not the eye color. That is really strange. But yeah, we're just going to go ahead and name our character. We got our character set up. We'll call her Zena. What's this here? Oh, I like that. Hello, kitty. Once human. I assume we can get other ones of these as well later on. There we go. Liquid nitrogen, negative 195. I don't know how many people are playing. I haven't checked yet. Celsius. Physical movement or brain function not detected. Subject status stable. What Dagger, the heck is going on here? Inspection 481 complete. Requesting a higher power outlet for the isolation chamber to prevent any further outages. What's that? Security breach. Security breach. <laughs> <laughs> OK, 
Okay, neat. Can I move around? No, I can't move around yet. What the heck is that? Oh, F move. Okay, take activator. You can actually skip this cutscene. I imagine people see, people who make multiple characters are gonna wanna not watch the little cutscene parts every freaking time. All right, nice. Okay. Well, uh, like I said, we we're running on the RTX 4080 and. I'm going to reset my benchmark with F6, but it looks like that brings this up. <laughs> All right, we got a decent uh, FPS because we have everything maxed out, remember? The 48 It's not a ton of graphics here, but it definitely looks all right. All right, well, we got to go and get over here. A memo. Investigate. Oh, I got to change that. <laughs> Being on F. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Access code. Let's see today's code. 43 is 0728. All right. 0728. Oh, enter through. No, it's a lock core. Okay. 0728 up here. Input code 0728. Password correct. Wait, what does that say? Max occupancy 73. <laughs> kind of followed you, right? <laughs> access guard will. I assume we need to talk or inspect this here. There's our access card. All right. Uh, let's see. Designed. Okay, let's see. No, in that cradle was re uh, recovered in your subject 073. What is going on here okay and another cutscene wow there's a lot of cutscenes in this Whoa, what was that is it showing me or is it? yeah it's showing me okay <laughs> Don't, don't tell me I have to fight myself. What? <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay. Okay, I guess we're going to talk to the bird. Talk to this strange bird. Okay. Well, it's good to see another face. I thought I was on my own. Um, autoplay. And you're a metahuman, too. Metahuman. Wait, you just call me a metahuman? I have no I voice. I don't know who you are, but I know what you are. You awakened the cradle, and that's something only a metahuman could do. You've lost your memory. Do you remember who you are? Nope. No, I don't remember. It must have been that fluctuation just now. It trapped me in the cradle. It could have wrapped you of your memories. You can call me V. It seems that our interests are aligned, metahuman. Okay, V. Uh, why did you come here? I came to secure a deviation. A paper butterfly. But I think something must have scared it. Right now, though, we need to move. I can show you the way out of this place, but only if you help me complete my mission first. All right, all you have to do is listen to what I tell you. Okay, listen to the strange, creepy bird. And go through here. Well, that. Do you want to do portal in this? <laughs> All right. Uh, what's this here? Weapons crate. What do we get? Activator and a machete. Ah, nice. 
There. Ooh, I like that. All right, let's get out of here. What the heck are you? Oh, you're a bad guy. Bad guy. Bad, bad, bad. Stardust. It's deviant. Deviant. Our world has been overrun with deviants ever since Starfall. Ordinary humans can't take high levels of Stardust exposure. When they do, they end up just like that. Oh, nice. You should be fine. In fact, if the conditions are right, you might even be able to use Stardust to your advantage. All right. Uh, so what are we supposed to do? To explore the monolith interior and find the exit optional, press Q to use space time to search for items. Oh, like, I like that. Snaps. Snap. <laughs> okay. Oh, so far. Oh, got a hat. Can I put that on? And where's our inventory? I, maybe? Okay, gear. Uh, helmet. Oh, well, where's the, uh, let's see, it's in my backpack. It's not showing where that helmet went. Oh, what the heck? What did I pick up then? Object mask. And we have, yeah, I mean, this is, would be our helmet, but it doesn't show that we have anything. Huh. Cosmetics? No, nope, that's locked. Alright. Whatever. Yeah, that's a gear crate, but... I just looked in it. Oh, I need to claim it all. Oh, I see. I didn't grab it. Oh, and it automatically went on myself. Awesome. Okay. I just need... I didn't, didn't claim it the first time. Let's go up here. Oh, <laughs> It gets dark at night. Try using default flashlight. Well, I don't know what default flashlight is. Tell me what button it is. Boom! Bam! Ooh, I do like that combat. The combat is really nice and smooth. Our gear crate. We got some boots. We'll claim it all. And we got shoes on. I guess we don't get to walk around naked for too long. Med kit. And I'll take all of that as well. They have F for everything. I don't like that. I might need to change it. But sometimes I'll get into a game and just... It'll just become second nature after I play it enough. Let's see. Can lunch me boiled water. It looks like we do have uh, strength. Eh, I assume that's like mental ability. And then water and food. Oh, a little stomach there. Investigate. All right, we see deviation of unknown level detected in the research area. Deviation appears to consist of multiple floating butterflies. Isolation compartments may be compromised, requesting emergency measures. All right. Uh, alter image, so is that me? Um, touch it? Yeah, why not? I mean, that's smart, right? Touch a weird object. <laughs> I am a meta-human, though. I found that out. See, spherical fluctuations often cause uh, anomalies in time, allowing past scenes to be witnessed once again. So you activate space time to locate spherical theaters where events and people from the past may reappear, potentially revealing hidden truths. Okay. Oh, uh, so we want to use this? Oh, oh! My name is Victor Hammett. What's your name? I... don't know. All I know is that... I'm a monster. My mother... My father... And everyone else... They're gone. And it was all my fault. Hey, hey. Try and stay calm. Huh. Here, Victor Hammett. And I will do everything. To help. It's no use. No one can help me. Isako. It would be better for me if I just, just leave me alone. Please, don't waste your time on me. I'm afraid I can't do that. 
And you're not a monster. In fact, you're very, very special. You just need to learn how to control your power. Once you do that, you can help fix this broken world. We can do that together. That's supposed to be me when I was younger, maybe? Activate space time and locate this better computer. My butterfly. It's flying. Yes. Your first deviation. And look how gentle it is. I remember my name now. It's Mitsuko. Mitsuko. Child of Light. It's my first creation. I will create more. Alright. So she has created these deviations, I assume. We need something powerful Ooh. to challenge the evolutionists. And I think I finally found it. You. Hey, we can secure other deviations. We can use them to forge a new path and bring about true evolution. This will be the Mayfly's mission. This is why we'll fight. Mayflies? That's right. Mayflies. Small, yet invincible. Humanity may seem puny now, but we'll prove we can endure. Nice freaking uh, little story they got going on. Metal scraps and shabby fabric. Oh man. Let me go through here. Ah. I love the snap. Supply crate. All right, what we got in here? More boiled water. We we should be able to drink some of that water now. These seven. All right, you're fully hydrated, and we can eat with five. There you go. Full. Can't get through here though. So that was just basically just the rations. Let's do this door. Ooh. Oh, not close enough. There we go. I think I'll like half its health with that power hit. <laughs> what the heck? You got a suitcase as I had? And then briefcase. Woo! What? What the heck is that? <laughs> Alright, another gear crate. Maybe we get some pants. Nope, gloves. Alright. We got a few deviations down here. Suitcase head. What's up? Hey, this is just, like straight out of freaking. Uh, what's. Oh my god, I can't even think of it right now. Hogwarts. <laughs> you like this, uh. The animation for the fighting animation is really nice. See if you can feel the rhythm of it. Then try and secure it. Okay. And touch the image again. You didn't touch it. Lies. Hey, there's a lot of cutscenes in here. And somehow we are outside. I'll take it for now. Oh, we're getting some good FPS. I was thinking that we were going to drop on FPS when we got outside, but looks pretty stable so far. Oh, there you are. V, you made it back. You're still alive. Wait, I'm V? Yes, and look what I found. Oh, okay. Lameda, only just woken up. They were kind say. enough to activate the cradle. And set me free. Thank you, Meta Human. Your help means a lot to me. You can call me Mitsuko. I used to be a Meta Human as well. Rosetta did all kinds of experiments on me. That is, until V saved me. Mitsuko is a very special Meta. She can sense even the tiniest fluctuations in the Stardust. It's thanks to her that I was able to take refuge in this place after Starfall. You're safe here. Well, there goes my theory that that's me. 
Let's see, so this paper butterfly is the deviation you were looking for? Yes. The butterfly is an emissary of sorts. I wanted it to help rescue other metas. The recent fluctuation must have startled it. The important thing right now is to secure it and ensure its safety. See that thing in the center of the room? It's a device for securing deviations. This makes them more useful and safer to be around. Okay. So, use facility. Attach a wire. Feature building is locked. Okay, so use facility. Butterfly emissary. Deposit. Okay. The butterfly is recovered. I think it likes you. Deviant power is increasing, I see. So then we attach a wire now. Building feature locked. Alright, Mitsuko. What about the deviation? Deviations can be very dangerous if not taken care of. They can radiate stardust, which can lead to all kinds of unpredictable consequences. And this is why we created the Mayflies. We make cradles and securement units to keep deviations contained. We're finding ways for humans and deviations to live in harmony. This is our best chance of cleaning up Rosetta's mess. Okay, so what exactly are deviations anyway? Stuff you messed no up? I'm not exactly sure what they are. Just that they're not bound by the physical laws of our world. They came from another dimension. Something we call rift space. When deviations get stressed, they release stardust. We think this brings our world and rift space closer together. Sometimes it becomes possible to pass between the two planes of existence. And when that happens, all hell breaks loose. We believe that's what caused Starfall. Huh. So what exactly are you trying to do? Some deviations are friendly, like the butterfly. But others, like the ones inside monoliths, are extremely dangerous. It's not practical to secure all of them. But if we can learn more about them, maybe we can find ways to live alongside them. That's the goal. You must be prepared. The stardust just keeps spreading. And we aren't sure why. Ooh. Spine-chilling roar. Be careful. That must be a siren. Shit, it must have gotten through. Come on, Meta. A deviation from another world just entered this space, and it won't go down without a fight. Take the butterfly with you. It can help. Okay. Grab a butterfly. Okay, withdraw it. Okay. Um, got our weapon crate? Yes, give me something better. See, so you got a rustic jacket. Looks like a flak jacket or something. We have some arrows for ammo. Another gear or supply of crate. No gear. All right, claim all. And what do we have here? This facility. I guess put some butterfly back in. It told me to take it though. I don't understand what it's wanting me to do here. See, sink to cradle. Okay. Sink it. Nothing here. Control the deviations. Oh, so we can, like, oh, I get it. So we can control these, like, deviations somehow. Okay, so now. We just go back. Oh, I thought it said to take the butterfly with me. So I'm going to withdraw it. Okay. Ooh, can we use this? Oh, it doesn't look like it can. Not yet, anyway. Hey, what are, is this? It said something there. See, click dirty water. I'll do that. We already have some clean water on us. You automatically get an axe. <laughs> Cutting down trees. But did it actually give me the tree? I don't know if it gave me the materials or not. Oh, we, we picked up that axe a minute ago. I see. Okay, yeah, we are collecting logs. There we go. Are these killer trees? Don't look like killer trees. They disappear pretty quick, though. <laughs> All right. 
Oh, we have here. Uh, equip the gathering tool before you start collecting resources. It's much faster than doing it barehanded. You can craft gathering tools at your campsite or a supplies workbench. The more advanced the tool, the more quickly you'll be able to harvest resources. Okay. Um... I mean, what am I... This, oh, see, use a pickaxe to gather logs. We already got the logs. Gather gravel. So we need gravel. Where do we get gravel, then? Can we get it from these rocks? Oh, yeah. Definitely nice uh, crafting research sulfur. I don't know if we'll need that. Oh, we get gravel with the sulfur. Nice. I don't know what kind of space we're looking at, though. Let me take a look at our inventory again. See if we actually have, like... Yeah, it looks like we are, we're weight-based, not slot-based. That's nice. So it goes by, like, a, a load. How much you can weight you can carry. But where's our stuff? That's... This is my backpack. Oh, other than butterflies. Uh, resources. Here we go. Okay. So it tells you how much it weighs. Oh, that's nice. All right. And we need to collect a little bit more gravel, it looks like. Go ahead and grab some rock here. All right, and then you hit T to set up camp. Now, I don't know if I want to be here. Hopefully, we can move our camp. I just want to do it for the sake of testing it out. Let's go ahead. Ooh, what is that? Nice. Okay. All right. Let's go with T. Set up camp. All right. Craft with bare hands in a campsite to craft basic gear, tools, and dishes. These will help you survive better in the wilderness. So you can like craft everything. Okay. The craft with bare hands. Throwing dagger. All right. Didn't tell you what you need for it. Yeah, wood. Hawthorn berry. And let's see. Ointment. Boiled water. Okay, so we can boil our water here. Nice. And it just takes a little bit of the log. So we'll just try that. Nice, because we already have some. So that's not bad. Uh, we have arrows, but we still need a, a weapon. It has like different parts here, it looks like. So craft a weapon, crossbow. Oh, it just takes only we can do it with just uh logs awesome okay hold to confirm crafted oh nice okay so maybe it's gonna go off of like you know different tiers so like whatever your skill level for it is see equip this primary and then melee do a club and we have shabby fabric we got some of that um from those boxes Nice. Equip now. I don't really need to equip that one. But we have also crafting armor. We already have the hat. We have that already. We just need some pants. We have no pants yet. Hide. So we'll have to hunt for animals. How to, and it gives you how to, how to hunt. I like how to get it. I like that. Instead of just being like, yeah, you need such and such. Figure it out, yo. <laughs> All right. So we need, we need to get hide to craft more. I don't know. We've been doing this quite a bit now, so I think um, wait, I switch my primary. I think we're gonna stop here before we get into the, like the actual crafting and everything, because it's like yeah, I so far I'm kind of digging that they have a nice storyline to this. It's really nice to to see them put that detail in and adding in. I mean, it's kind of a minor detail adding in what you have to how to get something. It's kind of major. I like that idea. But yeah, um, let me know what you think of this game. It's free, like 100% free so far. So I haven't seen anything, um, uh, any microtransactions yet or anything like that. But I'm sure it will come with a free game. <laughs> but anyway, that's all we're going to do for this video today. Make sure you hit that like button. Definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel. Y'all take care and happy gaming.